going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. Finally, some great news for the jailbreak community. It looks like the Google Project Zero found another method of potentially bypassing ASLR on iOS devices. And ASLR is what randomizes the addresses in applications and the kernel and stuff like that on Apple devices. It's a major security feature and one that has to be bypassed if you want to make a jailbreak. We're going to get into that in a second. This is quite nice. This video is brought to you by High Level. If you have any sort of social media business, small business or anything you want to promote online, they provide all the tools necessary to create better email campaigns, send SMS offers, WhatsApp offers, manage your social media and so on. And you can sign up today for a free 30 day trial through iDevice Central. They have all the tools that you need in order to manage your social medias, your funnels, acquire leads and of course keep them. And they have great integration with most tools like WhatsApp, Messenger, Google Ads, MailChimp and so on. So it's all you need to do in order to create full websites, funnels, landing pages, drop surveys and forms for your customers and even create online appointments and so on. Definitely check it out in the link below. It's an all-in-one tool for those of you who want to manage your business much better. So Google Project Zero is back at it again, this time with a novel way of bypassing ASLR, which is quite important if you want to jailbreak your device. ASLR bypasses are important because without knowing the address of the thing you want to patch in memory, there is no way to patch it and iOS randomizes everything in memory every single time. So you do need an ASLR bypass to find an address and then with that address to find the entire layout of the memory or the application or even the kernel through KASLR, which is essentially address space layout randomization. And it turns out that the researchers over at Google Project Zero managed to find a novel technique for remotely leaking that address. This is originating from research from 2024 that was just published. There is a Project Zero blog post over here detailing the entire procedure. It's not a vulnerability per se, more like a technique detail with an artificial test case based on the NSKeyed archiver. And this essentially was reported to Apple and Apple took action. They provided a patch back on March 31. And what is that? Well, it's essentially the date of iOS 18.4 and iPadOS 18.4 release. Now, I'm not sure which one is the vulnerability. If you're looking here and you search for ASLR, that is one in audio and it says an app may be able to bypass ASLR. Now, this is ASLR, not KASLR, so not kernel ASLR still could prove useful for applications that have privileges like diamonds on the system and so on. And yeah, this does correspond with iOS 18.4's release. So anything prior to that, like iOS 18.3.2 and lower, would potentially be exploitable through this technique that Project Zero is demonstrating over here. I have no idea if this would come to anything useful for the jailbreak community like a proper exploit, but it's a new technique and new techniques are quite useful because Apple does tend to patch the old ones quite a lot. Many of the old exploitation techniques, not only for ASLR, but really for anything, even kernel, they don't work anymore because of the new security techniques added in the newer iPhones and newer iOS. So finding new techniques is actually quite important because it bypasses exactly that. So that's essentially it. I will keep you updated. This is good news. It's great to see that people are looking in the background for newer techniques to bypass Apple's new security. So thank you for watching. I'm Geo Snow. Till the next time, peace out.